Ah, texting, texting. We are back to the sack on a Tokum Tuesday fantasy football week after the preseason is concluded. We are going here. Segment two for IDD. For those of you who know, I don't disagree. That is the redoubtable one himself, Tom Izzo. The highly questionable one, Audrey Miliaccio. Segment two, all things fantasy football draft. Now, we're going to go through this, right? I'm going to look at the draft from the Guardians of the Sack 2023 fantasy football league. Yes. Quite the cast of characters we have. Oh, what a bunch of shameless clowns. Let me tell you, every last one of them, they're that, they're that dude. They usually, when they were kids, they were sitting in the back of the class with the dunce cap on. They were that guy, okay? <laughs> they were that guy. Or they were the guy on the bench outside the principal's office, okay? <laughs> they were that, that, that. This place was filled with those those just degenerates, that was the word, I think, degenerates. Um, God bless every one of them. <laughs> They make the world a better place. What's that? Did I imagine? Don't, don't, don't say it out loud. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So. So anyway. let's go through the draft. Let's do it. I okay. think we can talk about, you know, what we thought maybe, what pick got the most value mm -hmm. each round. Mm -hmm. Maybe one pick, if it were us, we wouldn't have done that. You know, yeah. kind of a confusing pick. Yeah. Uh, maybe a surprise pick or yeah. a surprise no pick. Yeah. Um, uh huh. Sound good? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, should I just list off the first round of picks? Yeah. Go through. All right. Round one Patrick Mahomes, Justin Jefferson, Kelsey, Bijan, Austin Eckler, Josh Allen, Jamar Chase, Christian McCaffrey, Jalen Hurts, Tony Pollard, Nick Chubb, and Saquon Barkley. A lot of beef off the board in round one. It was. Um, I don't <clears> know <throat> that. Um, look, Kelsey's a one, but I think Joel reached on that one. You think so? Yeah, three. He's not the third best He's player. A cornerstone. He though. is not the third best player in this draft. He is not in terms of in terms of point production. I will bet you here and now he doesn't finish in the top ten. He will not. It, it was last year though, right? He for receivers, but overall he was not there. But he didn't finish the top ten in total points. Yeah, you don't the guy. Anybody you pick in that top ten, let me be very clear. I don't care what position it is. They better finish in the top ten in total points. It's, it's, if they don't, your first round pick was a your top ten pick was a bust. Yeah, no doubt. You have to that dude has to finish. A barring injury now. That happens the, a lot. I'm saying people miss early, and this is the problem. So you, whoever that, whoever you pick in that top ten, they better finish, barring injury, in the top ten in points. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a bust. It's a bust. So who do you think had the best pick of the first round? Outside of yourself, you can't say yourself. Um, go back again to the top ten because I had a name. But well, I, I mean, go from Creek, ten. Creekmore got Eckler at five, which. <laughs> He, he was one of the highest rated players in the draft. Um, Keep going. Ala got Jamar Chase at seven, even though Burrow's out. Jalen Hurts at nine. Who made that pick? Throckmorton. Outside of me, that was the best pick yeah. in the first round. In terms of who's going to get points? Oh, he's going to get points. Oh, he's going to get them <laughs> He's going to get them points. Because of his, because of what's <clears throat> again, a lot of it has to do with what's around him. Look at his supporting cast. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I like Milk Smugglers getting Justin Jefferson. That's the, that's a good. I'm not saying it's a bad. That's pick. a good one. I'm just saying that one at nine. I'd be willing to bet he finishes in the top five in yards. Last year, before he got hurt at the, end of the last four games, I mean, that's where he was. He was amazing. I'm saying, and he he stands to be better this year. So. Okay. So, him, I think at nine. Who was after him? I mean, what, what um, so then, so then Tony Pollard went, which I, I like the Tony Pollard pick. I think he's gonna he's gonna be good this year. This is the quarterback for the Colts. No, Tony Pollard is the running back for the Cowboys. You don't like it? Not that high. That's a reach. He won't finish in the top ten. I can guarantee a fantasy player, though. I'd say he wasn't. I'm saying he won't finish. He's never had the, the amount of carries he's going to get this year. Could he be got, a good thing or a He bad got thing. hurt without having those carries. Yeah, I mean, his leg broke. 
I know, but I'm just saying now he's going to get more. Yikes! You got to have he was perfect in that split back role, and he should be the one in that situation. I agree. But so then Nick Chubb gotta, went, then Saquon. I have a problem with those two. Those two should be top fifteen. Producers. Nick Chubb at eleven is a good pick. I had Nick Chubb. He's I've had him. He's done wonders yeah. for me. I don't have him this year because I couldn't draft. If I listen to me, if I could have drafted in the seventh or eighth spot, I would come back around and got Nick Chubb. Okay, now pick. he wasn't going to be there in my second. Pick. I knew it. Right now, start of the second round. So last pick, last pick of the first round. Gary goes Saquon, mm-hmm. and with the first pick of the second round, he goes Joe Burrow. Which I would have done it differently if I were him. Josh Allen was still there. No, Josh Allen went six to your brother in the first round. Which I, 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 I don't mind Josh Allen going that early. He, he's a point getter like no other. Again, people are forgetting this guy. and it's, it's pissing me off. It's starting to piss me off. Trevor Lawrence, I would bet, is going to finish in the top ten in total yards this year. Better than Possibly. Burrow? Yep, because Burrow's not even healthy. Yeah, that's why, that's why um, that Burrow and I don't know. I don't know how long Burrow's going to be out, and when he comes back, how, far, how, how long before he's 100%. Right. Joe Burrow also plays in the weakest division. He plays against the weakest defenses. That's good. He added a thousand yard receiver for Christ's sake. He is going oh. to throw Ridley. I'm talking, I I'm talking about you said Burrow. No, I'm talking about Trevor Lawrence. Oh, you said Burrow. No, I said Trevor Lawrence is the guy we're sleeping on. Oh, I thought you were talking about Burrow. No, I was talking about Trevor Lawrence. My bad. I said he's the guy. I said Trevor yeah. Lawrence. I'm, I'm starting, I said I'm starting to get pissed off that people are not even looking at this guy. He was in the playoffs last year. He gave Patrick Mahomes a hell of a run for his money yeah. in the divisional round. And they added Calvin Ridley. Yeah. And this is year three for him. He was the best. He was the highest rated quarterback, I think, since fucking John Elway, whatever it was, coming out of college, this dude. Yeah, so and Urban Meyer, I thought, I who think... destroyed him his first year. He didn't even have a rookie year as far as I'm concerned because Urban Meyer fucked everything up. I think the Burrow pick was early. Um, I understand what Gary was trying to do because he had the last pick and the first pick. And he went running back, saying, quarterback, should've should've because been, he knew there was 24 more picks. To me, it should have been it should have been Trevor Lawrence. Because I'm telling you right now, when this is over, you remember this on this day, that RJ said it, he will finish in the top 10 in total fantasy yards. Points, rather, points. He'll be one of the top 10 scorers for this season. I hope you're right. He will be. And he should have been there. I should have been taken 11. Why, did you get him? No, you got, you got Lamar, right? Who? You got Lamar Jackson, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whoever took him, I would bet, is going to be in the playoffs. Who got him? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he went in round six. Who got him? Sorry, we'll go back to that um, Isaac. Yeah, Isaac's going to make the playoffs. Yeah, I'll call yeah. right now. He's going to be one of six. I got Calvin Ridley. So. <laughs> Hope that works out. He'll have a great – He he should have a 1,000 yards. Easy. But anyway, back to – so second round now, going from third to – well, you did. Joe Burrow was 13. Joe Burrow was the first pick. Okay, yeah. go from there. Um, I just, if I was him, like, he could have gotten See, Diggs. This is, he could have gotten Diggs and Tyree Kill back to back picks. Diggs is not happy. I don't really know where Diggs is at right now. I know. He's, I don't know where he's at right now. Okay, he could have gotten Tyreek Hill. I'm not Kill. saying he's not going to put up he numbers. He could have gotten Tyreek Hill and A.J. Brown. Okay, fine. Tyreek Hill, C.D. Yeah. Lamb. Yeah. Tyreek Hill, Garrett A.J. Wilson. Brown is happy where he is. Right. Okay, C.D. Lamb is another one. I mean, no, but but, but, but again, I understand what he was doing. Burrow, he, he wanted to get a Burrow should be yeah. top 15 minimum. He should be. He should be in the top 15 in terms of total points at the end of the year if he's healthy. Yeah. Again, I don't know how much time he's going to miss. If it's one game, no big deal. What if it's four? Four or five. That's then you had a problem. Um... Trevor Lawrence, to me, is going to make the highest ascension this year of all the quarterbacks in this league. He is going to – his jump from year two to year three, adding Calvin Ridley to – oh, man. What that's going to do for that offense. What do you think about DJ? Daniel Jones. I think he's going to be better. Yep. He's going to jump. Mac like, is going to jump. But not like Wait, Trevor Lawrence. Mac Jones – if it wasn't for Trevor Lawrence, I'd say Mac Jones is going to make the highest jump. Really? Mac Jones was run up. Mac Jones, two years ago – was runner-up for Rookie of the Year. He oh. lost to Jamar Chase, who broke the rookie record for receiving yards. That's the only reason Mac Jones didn't win NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. Everyone forget This is the Matt Patricia effect. <laughs> and by the way, he did that yeah. without a number one receiver. 
He did that. I'm telling you, he he did that. Okay, and he did it with fucking with Josh McDaniel, who trust me, you've seen Josh McDaniel as a head coach. <laughs> this is all he's overrated. He's all about Tom Brady is Josh McDaniel's resume, not the other way around. Okay, so anyway, the bottom line is. Mac Jones is going to make the second biggest jump, and I think Danny Dimes is going to make the third. All right, because they both got weapons now, that's a, that's and in Danny, Jones before and I, and in, and, in, and in Mac Jones's case, he's got a coordinator who's going to unleash not only what he does, but what the support, what the talent around him can do. I just realized both their quarterbacks' last name is Jones. That's right. I don't know why I hadn't thought about that. Jones and Jones. Jones and Jones. Two of the most improved QBs in the league. I would argue, and the thing is, they're both. Listen. They, Show them you. I still don't know if you have. I still don't business. know. I still don't know. We don't have a if, one. If Matt, if you've ever won yet, Waller maybe. You could, don't have a one either. I don't have a one right now. The same thing. Not no. So I still don't know. I still don't think there well, could be value. We have better weapons, I think, than you, honestly. But we have two tight ends. You have one. Henry's good, and so is Cassette. But neither one of them are like Darren Waller. No, but they're both good. They're above average. Both of them are above average. They're good. All right. Whose they're offense not, would you rather have right now? Yours or mine? Yeah. Mine. Yeah. Yeah, we have more on the outside. And we have this five foot eight Demario Douglas dude who is supposed to be the, the combination <laughs> of, of Edelman, Welker, and Troy Brown. If that's fucking true, then the NFL has going to have a problem. All right. A major we're, problem. We're getting off of anyway, go back the, to the, the sorry, draft. sorry, sorry, sorry. He always makes it about some Boston shit. I know. It's terrible. This is a Boston sport. Right. Whatever. So and New York. Burrow is the first first pick gone in the second round. I get it because of talent, but I don't know how, how, how health wise. I, like, I don't like it, but yeah. it's Burrow. To me, I would have taken Trevor Lawrence at that spot. Then Stefan Diggs. Then A.J. Brown. Tyreek Hill not going in the first round was a little surprising to me. Throckmorton got him at pick 16. Tyreek Hill always puts up numbers, even if so Skyler yeah. Tonkin or whatever his name is is throwing to him. Yep, he will. Then Cooper Cup. See, here's the thing. That was Eric auto-drafting. <laughs> he got Cooper Cup in the second round, pick 17. Yeah. I mean, that's not a bad pick. If he's if he's healthy. Right. When you look at his past production. Well, last year he didn't have it because he was out, but he got hurt. So how, yeah, but even then he was like top well, 20 in receiving. I'm saying, oh, he, he's that good. I'm just wondering where his health is at. He got Christian McCaffrey and... Um, who would you say? Who? The, the, the manager? Eric. Eric. Got McCaffrey. Yeah, who was the other auto pick I just said? Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. No, 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 well, no, Tyreek Hill was a good pick. Yeah. But my favorite picks were C.D. Lamb to Pete. My brother, yeah. And then Bur- Burrow Ito Bull got Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson's going to have a big year. Yeah, he's a stud in the making. Yeah. And now, and he was a stud with Zach He was Wilson. a thousand yard with that clown. What, what, can, mean, yeah, with, what can he do with Aaron Rodgers? Oh, my God. I mean, no, that, this has got Devontae Adams 2.0 written all over it. Um, a lot of good receivers went, because then I got yeah. Devontae Adams, mm-hmm. who... I had him last year. He was a stud. Yeah, and I was reading last year. Josh McDaniels fucked that up. Well, I was also reading last year that Derek Carr there was there wasn't that much efficiency because Derek Carr loves to just throw bombs. Yeah. Whereas with Jimmy G, he's going to throw more high percentage passes to him. Yeah. You know, short range. So hopefully that's good for Devontae. Yeah, it Um, should be. He's going to get a lot of targets. Then St. Brown went to Joel. Yeah, good that's pick. a good pick. Yeah, he's a stud. I mean, you could argue I should have picked him over Devonta Adams, but they're both ones. Mm. Yeah. Then Smugglers got Josh Jacobs. I'm a little nervous about Josh Jacobs, but yeah, to DJ, get that all the way at the end of round two, I don't think that was a. That's good value. He was well, the best running back last year. He led the NFL in rushing. Yeah. So. He ended his whole lot. He got a $12 million one-year deal. Show mm-hmm. me deal, whatever. So, yeah, we'll see if he balls out. Got the supporting cast around him where you can't put eight in the box. So Yeah. Uh, then it gets back to the succulent sack. Last pick in the third round. Chris, don't call me Olive Olave. Yeah. Everyone was mad at that. I don't know why. <laughs> what do you mean mad at? I 
fuck, you got him. <laughs> fuck, I heard that from four about Fuck, you got fuck, fuck. I mean, that offense should be so much better because of Derek Carr. And that division. Yeah, Taysom Hill. There's only one good defense in that division. That's Tampa's. Well, and theirs. <laughs> and theirs. And they don't have to worry about the other two. They don't have to play that The other two doormats. <clears throat> so you went Olave, T. Higgins. T. Higgins. Consistent. I told you what I thought about that. Consistent. There were some stars after, I feel like. Jalen Waddle was still on the board. Again, you regret that? No, I do not because I think that Burrow's more durable than fucking Tua. Burrow's is. hurt, though. He's hurt right now. But he doesn't have a career-threatening injury. Tua does. And Burrow's, Burrow, um, his offensive line is better than it was two years ago. He's not going to take the hits that he took last time. Actually, he didn't. Um, so it's, it's going the other way with him. Okay, then Milk Smugglers. Again, I'm worried about this pick. Hmm. In round three, gets Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, so he's, he's got Jacobs and Taylor. Who's two still question on, marks. The, on the pup list now. They just he, put him yeah, there. Yeah, he won't play for four weeks. Which you DJ can said, DJ said to me he was not happy with him. I know. Yeah, he, he said so, he wasn't sure about t- Taylor yeah. there. Yep. But to think you got, you know, two years ago, the highest scoring back in the league. Mm-hmm. You got him in the third round. Yeah, because no one knows what he's going to do. In terms of value, if it hits, that's a really great pick. But that's the thing. He's not healthy right now. Yeah. When does he come back? How bad is the injury? What's he going to be like when he gets back? I've I've been saying, I keep saying every video I see of him, it looks like he can't walk. Haven't I been saying that for months? Yep. Or maybe a month. A month. But uh, here's the thing. You said it too. Yep, you're right. I did. And And now, boom, pup list. Look, here's the thing. Trade Regardless of what your philosophy or approach to this is, the one thing you've got to get with your first three picks is durability. These players got to be proven to have to stay on the on the field. These these risk ones, <laughs> this high. You don't like the risk. I don't like the risk. If you if you get a guy like that in the fifth or sixth round, it's not that bad. But if he's your second or third or fourth pick, yeah, no bueno. I, I won't. I won't do it. You look at my first four picks, five picks. Those guys, none of them have durability issues. Yeah. None of them. So, and that's right. important. Yeah, it this is. This is important. All right. So then, after Jonathan Taylor, Joel goes DK Metcalf. Who's gonna get numbers? Yeah, I just, yeah. I'm sick of the up and down with him. Yeah. He's up two weeks. He's down. Two, he's up. Two, and I don't know what, if it's the play calling, but that dude should be getting six catches by default every week. Just because he's DK Every half. half. Yeah, because no one can guard him. He's right. too fucking big. Throw the big. ball up to him. Just throw it up. How yeah. he doesn't get six catches right. just by default a game is embarrassing. Yeah, he's he, so big. It's, he's so talented. All right, so then after DK, then I come in and get Lamar. Yep. Which I like that pick. Good pick. In terms of like his average draft position on ESPN leagues, I took him four spots sooner than most people do. Yeah, but he wouldn't have been there. But I wanted him. No, and he wouldn't have been there. Yeah. This is the other thing. But then, like, looking back, two rounds later, I could have gotten Trevor Lawrence. But here's, but again, it's all where you had a value on right, him. exactly. And if you believe that, then go up and get that player. Yeah. Look, as stingy as Bill, Bel- forget fantasy football, Belichick with his draft, as stubborn as bullshit as cheap, if he targets a guy yeah. that he really likes, he will go up and okay. get him. Regardless, yeah. Regardless. If it, if that, so if you believe in him, yeah. and yeah, look at you have every reason to. Well, you look at the okay. weapons and the fact that he's he, dual threat. You love the rushing. Yeah, guys. he has he has weapons now he's never had before. Right. So I get it. Yeah. In that spot, I don't think it's a bad move. It's, no, I didn't. It's think not so. to I me. That's that that's nowhere near the move, the questable moves yeah. I've seen already. He, this isn't even in the stratosphere no. of that. So no, he that's can a good be my, he can be my anchor. He could be. You know, um, next pick was Najee Harris. I don't like that pick because. Najee was not good for me last year. But that doesn't mean shit. I think that was more his line than him. His line was atrocious last year. He couldn't get started. His line sucked. Somehow he averaged four yards a carry. I don't know how he did it. That yeah. line sucked. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So then, so Najee, um, then Devontae Smith. Yeah. Good your pick. brother your brother got Devontae Smith. Yeah. Third good round pick. pick. That's good. Yeah. Um, good pick by Pete. Then Pete's, Pete's screw ups are yet to come. Then Eric's auto picks Jalen Waddle. <laughs> um, Throckmorton picks Debo Samuel. That's a good pick. They're both good. Then picks. Dream Team gets Joe Mixon. I don't like Mixon there. That's too high. Yeah, in That's the third round, I was a, he wanted a running back, so he went for him. But 
I don't know about Mixon. They would they barely signed him. There are other backs. Something's something's Ramonde Stevenson would have made more sense. Because he's gonna get the ball. Yeah. And he's durable. No, Etienne made sense right there, I think. Or him. In that offense. I'm that, saying he, yeah. I said I said Stevens for two years. He ran for eleven hundred yards, he had eight touchdowns. He averaged five yards a carry. Yeah. yeah. He's a sure Either thing. Either one would have been better. Either one would have made sense. Would have been better than that pick. Um, so. so then so then next pick is Justin Fields. Okay. Uh, that one I question. I know he's got the chance to put up like historic numbers, it seems like. Because he's he's like number two or three in odds to win the MVP. Um he should have a jump. TJ was saying that. He should have a significant jump good? because he has a running a, a receiver, a number one. He's he has a number one already. Mac Jones and, and, and your boy Danny Dimes don't have one. Yeah. This fucker, after one year, gets a one. The fucking Pat, they're in their year three. He, in his case, year four or five. And he still have a fucking one. It's like, what the fuck are you? Do you understand you're in a passing league or what? Right. Like, that's when you get mad at the GMs. Like, yeah. you got a guy that you drafted. Where was Dimes drafted? Sixth. Sixth. The sixth pick in the fucking draft, he, four years in, still ain't got number one? Well, no, this well, is, how this fucking, is fifth year, right? Fifth year. Still ain't got a defined. Think about that for a minute. And people were judging this kid? Give me a, you're fucking idiots. You're absolute fucking idiots, okay? And yeah, half the coaches, he's had like four different coaches. He's had four different coaches. He's had four different systems. And how the fuck can you the best fairly? Coaches. Now, Jason up until, Garrett was an offensive coordinator. And he was a, such a bum. What the, the most boring bum. offense you've ever seen in yeah, your life? Bum, bum. Just a fucking bum in short order. And that's why he's in the booth now. He's a bum. And this kid, and people were judging him. Look at what Matt Patricia did to fucking Mac Jones last year. And then tell me about Danny Dunn. Fucking give me a break. So it's not the quarterbacks. If you said, and who said it? Who said it? It was a perfect line. He goes, it was, it was Orlowski when they were talking about quarterback with most to prove. And he goes, first of all, you can't expect Mac Jones to compete if you don't set him up to compete. So if you don't give him the weapons, don't ask for the results. And he's fucking 100% right on that. And he's the first fucking guy that openly said it. If you don't get your quarterback who you draft in the first round at one, you're a fucking moron by definition. In a fucking passing league, and you draft, he's your number, he's your franchise, right? What's the first thing you get him? A fucking number receiver. The second thing, a left tackle. The third thing, a running back. Yeah, and I'm honestly, I'm. That's fucking I'm, ridiculous. I'm. He's in his fifth with year. That, but and I might say offensive line first. No, you can. There's more offensive linemen out there than there are receivers. There are. Okay, you can you can build an offensive line throughout the draft. They don't have to be number ones, no, but a number saying, one you receiver, have to have a, decent a number one receiver generally goes in the first two rounds nowadays. Yeah. And if he was your sixth fucking pick, and the next year you didn't draft a number one, fuck you, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. It's that simple. And the same with the Patriots. Mac Jones is in his fucking third year. He still don't have a number one. How the fuck? Uh, how in the tangent, name of? Let's tangent sorry. back to fantasy. Sorry. Land. Sorry. Okay, we're in fantasy right now. Well, we just didn't, stop didn't, talking about real. Didn't Danny Dimes just get drafted? No. Oh, who did? Justin Fields did. Well, he got a number one. Damn it, that was my point all along. Then Keenan, <laughs> then Keenan Allen goes to the pipe layers. That's a reach. Keenan I agree. Allen, He's old. He's done. That he was a reach. Healthy. That was a reach. Okay, so he goes Keenan reach. Allen, Deontay Johnson. Deontay Johnson is not a reach. That no, that was no, a good that's pick. That's a good pick. Then you look at the other, the other receivers. Here are just the people that went after Keenan Allen, mm -hmm. all of which I think you could argue should have went before Keenan Allen. Yeah. Deontay Johnson. Yeah. Etienne. Yeah. Amari Cooper. Yeah. George Kittle. Yeah. Yamir Gibbs. Eh, no. The, you no. Know, no. Another running back you're not sure. DeAndre Hopkins. Maybe. He's questionable in that offense. Tannehill. I know. Tannehill but, sucked with Dude, him. but Hopkins, do you know what Hopkins did last year with less? He had less than Tannehill, and he had what sixty catches, seven hundred yards. Yeah, it's six hundred yeah, yards. And like he missed five games. I, I think, think he missed. Five. No, he missed eight. Eight. Was it eight? Yeah, I think he played nine games. He I missed, mean, that's he missed a large portion of the season. because he was suspended for the first eight yeah, games. If, he, if sure. he had played ten games, he probably would have had a thousand. Yeah, um, but he's a year older. It's true. Um, he's coming off a bit of an injury. 
Um, not a major one. Is he? Yeah, he's got. He had a minor thing with his leg. It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a ligament tear or anything like that. Um, but it was minor. It wasn't something yeah. that was going to keep him out of training camp, right? It was. It was more in the off season that he was, he was rehabbing. But anyway. Um, okay. Then so. Then I, yeah. My bad. I'm my just bad. saying. So he. He should be productive, but he's 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 in a new system. No one here believes in Ryan Tannehill. I don't care who you are. <laughs> so until Ryan Tannehill shows this to me, I'm not going to believe it. Yeah, A.G. Brown, he couldn't do it then. So that's why yeah. I think it's, you know. I just think he's good enough to at least put some numbers up. He will. He's him. Um, but, yeah. Next pick after Allah grabbed Hopkins, um, your brother grabbed Aaron Jones, which I don't love. Uh, Green Bay running back. Oh, I know Actually, he is. I like Dylan better. You got yeah. Dylan way later. Yeah. Um, well, Dylan more in the red zone. He's Dylan's a better back. Oh, he is. They just they haven't really utilized him. Aaron Jones is talented as fuck, but yeah. I think he's he's getting up there. Yeah. Um, then Burrow Ito Bowl got Chris Godwin. Good pick. Godwin's the stud. Yeah. yeah. Um, of course, then, Baker Mayfield's a quarterback. I know. That's a problem. And and Jansen's out for the year. That O line is gonna. That fall. line's gonna suck again. That's the second it's year they lost Jansen. That's terrible. Yeah, Baker's um, fucked. So he drafted Chris Godwin. I got Calvin Ridley right after that, and I think I'd rather have Ridley. Yeah, because that offense is going to be offense. better. I'm telling um, you, Trevor Lawrence. Well, I hope you're right, and I hope he's throwing everything to Ridley. No, he won't. Ridley will get his, but he's got a ton of weapons. Well, yeah, he's got Ingram at the tight end. But that's why. Etienne. That's why he. Listen, he is going to be the one that challenges Mahomes in terms of yards. Look at the weapons he's got in terms of skills. And he's and won. and he'll spread the ball around. Yeah. He won't fall in love with one receiver. Ridley's really is still going to get his. Get yeah, no, no, Ridley's going to get 1,000 yards. But they might have three 1,000-yard receivers this year. They might. Then Joel went uh, Ramondre Stevenson. Yeah, you're a freaking hypocrite, Joel. Then DJ, DJ, I think, with the best pick in the fourth round, you have Mark Andrews. Yeah, stud. I, I mean, that's a stud tight end. I actually think Throckmorton got Kittle at 40. I would have drafted – Oh, Kittle's a better. I would have drafted Andrews before Kittle. Really? Yeah. Hmm. With the new offense now, they can't. I mean, Andrews has been the only fucking person. He's his blanket. Right. So, yeah. but now they can't key on him the no, same way. They can't. Because you got Beckham but and you got Flowers. Flowers is a burner on the outside. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I, I like Andrews, but I mean, it's not like Kittle's a bad pick. No. I just I like that pick <clears throat> by DJ there. Um, then you got Damian Pierce, mm -hmm. the last pick in the fourth round. Yeah, which is a starting running back. My first running back taken. It was against my philosophy of taking backs in the fourth through seventh round. So I, I don't believe in that shit at all. <laughs> so let's see if it works. Yeah. Then you got Pacheco. Yep. Two starters, bang, bang. And Pacheco catches the ball, too. So I think he's going to be better this year. I, I would have went Brees Hall there if I were you. Brees Hall. I don't know what his, I don't know what his durability I is. I, I get it. And his line stinks. Yeah, I don't I care what it says. That line stinks. But I, and his upside, though, God, it could be good. Too many ifs. Um, At that high? Okay, so then DJ took a risk here again. He's just a risk taker. You're well, a it was almost like it, you're a rebel. He was in one of these tweener spots where it's like yeah. the guy who's probably top of the list, there's some question marks. So he went with Rashad White, running back, who's real talented running back. He, he a lot of his carries went to Fournette, uh -huh. um, but Rashad White on Green Bay, the I mean Bucks, Bay. But now I'm Jensen's out. Line. Now Jensen goes when you don't have a center, it's tough to run the ball. You can't run the ball. It's really tough to. You run have the to ball. have a legit center. And you're gonna have a shit quarterback. Yep. Yikes. Yeah, I wouldn't want so, to be that kid. At least you know he's like the only thing. So. He'll well, probably they, catch a lot got, of passes. Again, and, they've got Evans and Godwin, and they've got, you know, so they've got weapons. Right, but I don't think there's any, like, close weapons. It's the two on the outside, and that's it, right? There's no big the tight end's there. decent. I mean, he's decent. Brayton, he's pretty good. Although that may have just been Brady. I don't know. We'll find out. But of he course pretty, it was. He was pretty good. So Okay, then Joel goes Brees Hall. You're not in love with that pick. I well, kind of like it. Too big of a risk. I went Christian Watson next. Safe. Safe. Safe he's a number one, but Safe. then DJ Moore went after me, Burrow. Eaton That's ball. the one you – I should have – I think I blew that pick. That's the we'll one see. you blew. DJ Moore is going to have a great – I game. don't trust Justin Fields. Why? I think he's going to get hurt. 
what I, he did last year. I think he will because he can. He has someone on the outside. I mean, I drafted Lamar, so that it makes no sense. Kind of, you can't really say that with but Lamar. But Lamar did not get hurt running. Not yet. Got hurt in the pocket. Okay, then your brother went Alvin Kamara, which I don't I don't love that pick. That's a risk. It's five. He suspended the first four games. And he's injury pro. Yeah, I don't love that pick. Um Allah went Darren Waller right after that. I kinda like that pick. I like that pick. He's gonna be productive. He will be. He's um, again. Then Eric auto drafting went TJ Hawkinson. <laughs> he's gonna keep bringing it up. Auto drafting. Well he was auto Eric is auto drafting. TJ Hawkins. Anybody here not get that? So Eric auto draft. Must have been best player on the board and he needed the tight end. Yeah. But um, we'll never know because he didn't draft yeah. that pick, the auto draft it. Then Throckmorton goes James Conner. Running back for Arizona. Arizona. Which he is the one. He's talented. So I had him last year for a brief stint. He was pretty good but for a couple games. Nobody stop wants gap. to be a part of that offense. He was a stopgap. Then Dream Team goes Mike Williams. Which I don't know. There's Will some, he ever some, be healthy? There's again? something about those San Diego receivers. They don't, they don't man. stay healthy, man. Yeah, they all get banged up. Um, so I don't know about that pick. Yeah. Then they call me Lemoncello goes Kyle Pitts. I hate that pick. Atlanta still doesn't have a quarterback. I hate that pick. And until they get a quarterback, Kyle Pitts is useless. <laughs> he is. He's what they doing. There's no one they got the Desmond ball. Ritter. Desmond. And Todd, if they put Heineke in, watch watch. Oh, him, Heineke watch will get the ball. I, I haven't given Mr. Heineke, I haven't given up on you these fucking dead skins. These these commanders. Heineke would probably throw twelve touchdowns to, to that guy. Heineke would have been a, was the guy you let him slip through your fingers, Pittsburgh. I mean um, Washington. Move on. All right. Um Then the pipe layers went Dallas Goddard right after that. Philly tight end. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I don't love that pick. He's good, but I don't know about that. I think he just did it because Waller, Hawkinson. And Pitts all went off the board in that. It was tight end panic. It was a run on the tight end. This thought, happens. Fuck. I told you it's going to yeah. happen. Whenever they, someone panics about Well, position. especially when you have back-to-back picks like Gary does. Yeah. Because he's thinking, well, fuck, what tight end's going to be left by the time he gets back I to can me? back around. They're all going to go Gary. Right. This so, boom, he gets got it. Yeah. So, you understand that. Yeah. Leads off the sixth round with Terry McLaurin, which I like that pick. He's a good player. McLaurin in the sixth round. Yeah, that's kind of a steal. That's good value. That's good value. They call me Lemoncello, then goes Mike Evans. Yeah, he's another one at that side. That's good. Do you like him or Godwin better with Baker Mayfield? They both should get open. Whether or not Baker gets in the ball. Right. So question. who's the burner? Evans, right? He's the possession receiver. Godwin's the... Oh, Godwin's the deep threat? Well, I, it was I think he, No, well, actually, technically, it still is, yeah. It still is. But so Godwin's... Like, over yeah, the middle. He's, on the, he's like Edelman underneath the, the, the Z routes. With like Baker, that. he might do better. He'll have weapons. He did When he had weapons in Cleveland, it was healthy. They no, won. no, I'm just saying, like, is Baker more inclined to be good throwing deep balls than Mike Evans or more inclined to be, you know, hitting slants and crossing routes I don't know. over the middle with Godwin? I didn't see enough of him to know. Yeah. But we'll find out. He's got weapons, though. We'll see. Anyway, All right, next? then I'm sure your favorite pick of the draft. Third pick in the sixth round, the dream team, youngest member of our league. Defending champion. Picks Trevor Lawrence. Yep. <laughs> and he's in the playoffs. That right? was a big one. That's a big one. Um, then Throckmorton goes Javante Williams, Denver starting running back, coming off a reconstructed knee. knee. But I've heard running good things about Running backs and knees. Don't make, we don't, don't make music together. I think if he could have found this guy late, better pick. Um, but you know what the fuck do I know? I mean, Kenneth Walker was still on the board. Um, Miles Sanders was on the board. I don't love Miles Sanders. Nobody seems to love Miles Sanders. <laughs> yeah, everybody thinks it was just the line. Yeah, I don't know about that. Which is kind of fucked up. Well, we'll find out. He's in Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, if he rushes for a thousand yards in Carolina, we know it was him. Yeah. So I think I'd rather have Kenneth Walker there. Yeah. Um, then Javante Williams. No, I get it. Then Miles Sanders goes. That was an auto pick, by the way. Kenneth Walker to Allah. <laughs> Mr. Auto pick. Then your brother comes out of nowhere and says, uh, that's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. And he takes Dak motherfucking Prescott. That's terrible. What such a reach. A, such a waste of What a push. reach in the sixth round. I'll tell you, he's got more pressure on him now. Aaron Rodgers was still on the board. On the board. Well, then he got oh, in. But then he got in, too. Then he got in, too. Petey. 
What the fuck are you doing? The world wants to know what multiple MIGs was, which multiple MIGs made that draft. I want your opinion on this next pick. Because I, I think I heard people going, yeah, that's a pretty good pick. Mm. So, Burroito Bowl in the sixth round scoops to Sean Watson right after Dak Prescott. I don't love watching. But you, you're saying that you think he's going to be improved. Yeah, he can't go anywhere but up. <laughs> he can't. He was so bad. But he can stay stagnant. He, can, he, he missed just, 13 games. I know. I don't know. After he, missing half a season the year before. Can he recover from that? He's going to be better. Yeah. He's going to be better. He's got, by the way, he's got Nick Chubb. But do he's you got like him weapons. better than Aaron Rodgers? No. I would have picked Rodgers before him. Me too. If we're being honest, yeah. But he's not a bad pick there. I just. Well, he's got Amari. He's got Nick Chubb. Yeah. Who else is receiving out there? I forget. Nobody? No. He's Are got you getting weapons. ready to go to the bathroom? No. I was just stamped to stretch my legs for a second. Yeah. Um, anyway. All right, so Deshaun Watson. Then I get Marquise Brown. Again, that could be a stretch, but he was a number one. So I went for him. Yeah, who um, went after him, though? Drake London. Keep going. Maybe we'll skip the next two picks. Tyler Lockett and George Pickens. What a dumbass. Bam, bam, bam. Be I picked Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown. Yeah. With no quarterback. Over Tyler Lockett. Colt McCoy ain't even there. And George Pickens. I gotta say, what a dumbass. Gotta say, if you look Colt McCoy him, was there when I picked him. I but like, regardless, that means nothing. If he sees the mugshot of the, of the Cardinals starting quarterback, he might start crying. <laughs> <laughs> the, the kid looks like... So, honestly... He looks like so he got beat up a lot. It was two school. bad picks in a row. Yeah. I went Christian Watson instead of DJ Moore. Yeah. And I man, went Marquise Brown instead of Tyler Lockett. Yeah, that's bad. Those are my two real big fuckers. I hope those but, don't come back to bite you. But I'll, I'll live with it because I was trying to stick to my strategy. I just didn't execute. I knew what I, I went receiver. Went wrong just receiver. Wrong. Silly mistake. Twice. Um, Twice. <laughs> so then Drake London, I think that's a bad pick by Joel too. Yeah, he fucked that up. Because Desmond Ritter, I don't believe him. No. But who the fuck knows? We've never seen him. He could be fucking Sam Howell. We don't know what the fuck Sam Howell is. We don't. So, so then Tyler Lockett, George Pickens, go fuck yourself. Um, then Brandon Cooks, go fuck yourself again. He could have had all <laughs> could those. Could have had any of them. <laughs> then Jerry Judy, He's go fuck yourself. He's channeling his inner Belichick. Boy, Jerry, actually, I might rather have Marquise Brown than Jerry Judy. God, well, Judy got hurt. Dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. DJ told me next Judy day. So, DJ has Jerry Judy. Who's her? <laughs> um, shit, what's his name? <laughs> Rashad White behind a fucking Swiss cheese Swiss line. Swiss cheese Tampa line. <laughs> oh. um, don't look good for Joel. Fuck, what's his name? No, no, no. This is DJ. Oh, DJ, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't look good for DJ. Mark Andrews, good. Good. Yeah. Um, Jonathan Taylor. Who's on the pop list. Yikes. <sighs> Josh Jacobs just got back into camp, but he's, um, he should be solid. He should be solid. Jefferson and Mark Andrews are going to carry him. Yeah, they'll have to for a while. Yeah. So. Um, okay. Back to where we were. This is probably one of the most boring things. Oh ever. my god. That's terrible. <laughs> but I don't. We didn't prepare to make it more going. fun. No, we didn't because we didn't know we were going to go this far. But um, keep going. <laughs> Then Joel, mm, y- yucky pick here. Yucky. Yucky, yucky, There you go, America. It was a yucky pick. Joel comes up with maybe the dud of the draft here. The Of the whole draft? Yeah. Well, maybe not. He well, picks well, Tua. Give me the fucking name. Tua. Before Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> That's bad. No one's going to tell me Tua's going to put up more fantasy numbers than Aaron Rodgers in a season. Because he's not going to do it. Who knows? But he's maybe. Gonna, he can't stay healthy. His line, his line issues also didn't get addressed. <laughs> then I go, Brandon Ayuk. Good pick. Burroito Bull goes J.K. Dobbins. I kind of like that. Kind of like that one, yeah. Um, your brother goes Evan Ingram. That's a good tight good end. Good tight end. Ollie goes Christian Kirk. Oh. Which I don't know. That's Jackson's too. I mean, he was a good receiver last <sighs> he year. He is. He was. No, he was. And with Ridley on the other side, he should be He should be better. better. It's not a bad pick. Um, then Alexander Madison, who's the rookie, was auto-drafted by Eric. He's, oh, oh, no, 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 no. auto-drafted. No, he's, he's the Minnesota running back. I know nothing about him. 
Madison's the running back. Addison, I guess, is the receiver. Then Throckmorton goes Michael Pittman Jr., which I I tend to stay away from Indy this year. Don't, we don't know if the quarterback's going um, Anthony Richardson, I would have. If I could have gotten him as a backup, I would have, but yeah. nobody else in that offense I wouldn't fuck with. No. Then they call me. No, then the dream team goes Cortland Sutton. Who's a good receiver? They call me Lemoncello goes Jahan Dotson. What, the, what does he play? He's um, the two on the Commanders. As a running back? No, receiver. What's his name? Jahan Dotson. He's the number two? I'm pretty sure, because McLaurin's the one. He might be the three. I thought he was the three. I thought the other guy was the guy Samuel? Samuel was the two. Oh, jeez. I'm saying that's Well, then that was a reach. I mean, as soon as he picked him, though, DJ was like, he's going to have a big year. The highly questionable one thinks that's highly questionable. <laughs> All right, then <laughs> pipe players came in, got Cam Akers, who I know nothing about. He's a good kicker. Cam Akers and Jacoby Myers. I don't love the Jacoby Myers. What does he normally put up? Over the pages, he was 800 yards last year on 50-some-odd catches. See, okay, so if I was Gary, Cam Akers, I think he had to take. He was a top-rated back. Like, I get it. He's the one in, in yeah. L.A. But he took Jacoby Myers. He could have taken a risk on Juju Smith, well, no, Jackson Smith and Jigba, yeah. Odell Beckham. Um, we know Beckham's going to get the ball. Flowers. Oh, yeah. Like, at that point, he could have risked it on a receiver, I thought. Yeah. But if J- Jacoby Myers is bound to get you 800 and some scores, it's probably yeah. a decent pick. Yeah, I think so. And that offense with, yeah. with Adam on the outside and Renfro, and yeah. Yeah. He'll f- Trust he me, should be their good. offense is going to be even better yeah. with that. So. Um, then they call me Lemoncello, drafted the 49ers. Defense. I think round eight is early. A little bit. Um, then Dalvin Cook went to the Dream Team. I'm not sure Dalvin Cook's going to do well this year. Then his brother, James Cook, went right after him. To Buffalo. Oh, he plays Buffalo. Buffalo. Who went drafted? to Throckmorton. Throckmorton. Dude, I'm getting bored just doing this. I know. We, we can't, what round are we in? This can't be our first fantasy segment. <laughs> we have to do a different one. We have to figure out how to break it down. It's too goddamn boring. It's too goddamn long. What, what round are you in? <laughs> Eight. See, we should have both done research and said, all right, your favorite picks from this round, your favorite picks. Doing every pick is insanity. Yeah, because you can you can pick a lot of them apart. So <laughs> Yeah, it's true. From the first eight rounds, I would say that the the most questionable picks came from my brother, mm-hmm. from DJ, took, took, some, took some risks. And, um, I had a couple bad ones. You missed on two, I think. So... Anyway, that's <laughs> just burn it. Just, just fucking burn it. I have to put it out there because it's just to show how stoned we are. We actually, these clowns actually got through eight rounds of this shit. Um, the first couple were exciting, <laughs> but after that, it goes down. Even the one we made for the other guys probably hell. Uh, I told you, uh, it's it's hard. It's really tough to talk about fantasy football in an engaging way. I think you have to. In terms of the player you're talking about, we probably have to dig a little bit more into what that player does and why they're exciting. Because players are the one things people know. In terms of, oh yeah, well this is why we, I mean, when you think about the cheetah, anywhere he gets drafted, the dude runs a 4-2. Yeah. I mean, there there is no, I don't believe there's a cornerback in the league that can stay with him one-on-one. I don't believe there is one. Um, at least, I haven't heard of another that can match him. But, but like, a, so maybe we go through and we decide, all right, this is who I think is going to end up being like the top scorer on this person's well, team. Well, I, I did mention Trevor Lawrence. I think he's going to be top 10. No, no, but I'm saying going through people's rosters and like doing a little oh, who's going to be there? segment on it. You know, saying, okay, as I look at the way Creekmore built his team, obviously this is his one, but yeah. I think like this is going to be his other anchor. I'm just trying to think of engaging ways we can actually break down our fantasy season. What do you think, America? And people would watch it and enjoy it. Yeah. Because this, me scrolling and going, and then Jonathan Taylor went. And risk, then... Risk, reward. Oh, good value pick. Good. You know what I would have done there? I probably would have done something different, even though I'm a fucking idiot and I've never... 
<laughs> gotten into the playoffs in fantasy. <laughs> That's me. Okay? We've got to be able to find a better way. I, I, my drafts suck routinely just, every year. Right. <laughs> so you know what I would have done? I, I would have done the wrong thing. I would have done the exact opposite of what I should have done. <laughs> My I, watched, record, I watched one video I liked, my record, and now I'm a goddamn expert. My record speaks for itself. <laughs> I watched one asshole on YouTube spit me a bunch of horse shit, and now I'm fucking fantasy. Fuck. And now here I am on YouTube spewing you a bunch of Call bullshit. me Fantasy Fryermuth. <laughs> Fryer Fantasy. <laughs> the man's name's... Felton Fantasy. <laughs> Fantasy Fryer over here. <laughs> His name's Francis Fantasy. Francis Fantasy. I mean, no, look, the excitement comes when you're in the room and you're seeing these picks come off the board and, you th and you're hoping that the guy you're targeting gets to you because if he does, then you're all fucking excited. Wouldn't you love to be and able to, like, create, like, make the fantasy draft like the real draft? Oh, we have like a room. Where we're like in separate rooms. And we come rooms. in and now see a pick. Yeah. And we come walking out. And there be the, Wouldn't that be You have someone running and goes, ding, 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 goes across the screen. It was like, ding. yes. You got a the, couple of assholes sitting yeah, there commentating. The go, big. Oh, it, looks like, it looks like the succulent sack has finalized their pick. The, all, the succulent sack selects. <laughs> Can you see that? We have, and like, then, our kids coming up to announce it. the pipe layers. <laughs> Matt Green, sack on your side. Sack on your side news. What the fuck is sack on your side news? <laughs> Can you just see the announcers doing this? Oh, my God. And the milk smugglers. The milk smugglers. <laughs> Are now on the clock. Oh, my God. There's got to be a way to do this in a fun way. And, like, like an engaging way. How could we... Really commentate on because we could commentate on the matchups. Here. <clears throat> we could break down matchups next week, but but it can't just be like, oh well, you look at this guy and you see, you know what I'm saying like we got to find a fun way to do it because the the status quo is so played out. Uh, well, you know what I mean. There's always the we put like a board behind us when we do this and we and we take the players and put them on and go why him why this maybe that a diagram, but that's like fucking NFL Live. I don't see that though. They they, they design like plays, that. but they don't necessarily go boom, 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 like players. <clears throat> and we'll have to figure this. my pants. We have to figure this out, America. But uh, we will see you guys back. I'll be back next Monday night. Um, so probably Tuesday next week. Um, until then, are you I'm leaving? I'm going to um, Myrtle Beach. When? Thursday. <clears throat> oh, you fuck. You knew that already. No, I didn't. We're supposed to do Tuesday <clears throat> and Thursday this week. You never mentioned it. I. I, I knew you were you, going to. Well, I, we mentioned it on the show, but I didn't. I, when I, I said I could do Tuesday and Thursday this week, you never mentioned it. I said we had to do Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday because Thursday night was going to be gone. But we need two shows. <clears throat> we did Sunday night. We need two during the week. <laughs> <laughs> now he wants to do three. We can do one tomorrow night. Yeah, but I got to go into the office. <laughs> See, I work from home tomorrow. So do I. I go into the office Thursday. I don't want to That's be terrible. up all night. Yeah, it's fucking that. midnight. You fix that. Anyway. What, two days a week? Well, it would be three days a week. Well, right now we did two. We did Sunday. You know what I'm saying? I go into the office two days a week. You're saying I need to fix it. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday. Get out of the way early in the week. No, you can't <clears> go in Monday. Oh, you can't? The hybrid days are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You have to make it two of those three. So you could have done, uh, you could have done Tuesday, Wednesday, but then I wouldn't be here right now. No, we'd be doing it tomorrow. What? <laughs> Good God! I mean, I if you've lasted this long, you're fucking dumb. You're, you're delusion. Um, you think that the USA is the best basketball players in the world, um, or the <laughs> NBA is just the is just North America? Joel was just tripping yesterday. He knows. He it. really was. He knows. Um, anyway, that's gonna do it for us tonight because we can't stop laughing. I think, I think sometimes um, you know. Joel just wants to make a comment. Without, he wants to be a contrarian. No, no. I think sometimes he just wants to like make a comment without us like and get away with it. Going up, going in on and like, get away with it. Like it's okay to have that opinion. Well, you know he's right. That's a Joel response. Was the guy said that that the NBA right, champion right, right. is just the champ of North America? Well, really, the best player on that team is Jokic. 
Mm-hmm. He's not from North America, dickhead. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so how is it not the best basketball league in the world when the best players in the world are in it? And only mm-hmm. the best players in the world can be in it, dumbass. They come to it. How the fuck? They come to it. Now they're around, you fucking jack wagon. So how stupid is that? So, hey, man. But just a little ether at the end of the episode. Yeah, just a little venom. dropping napalm. Yeah, on Joel. Dear it's God. Fucking... Oh, what do you know? The Mets lost 2-1. to one. I'm loving it. Tank. Tanky, tank, tank, tank. Red tank. Sox, by the way, those of you who still kill, lost 6-2. to two. They're fading. Oh. They're fading. Shit. <laughs> Tough schedule. And against Houston, they can't lose to Houston. No, they can't. Well, they better, win the, they better win the next two. But anyway, yeah. we'll see. Anyway, you guys enjoy your evening. Enjoy your holiday. We'll be back next Monday night or Tuesday. Uh, unless we do it tomorrow night for the redoubtable one time, there's a little highly questionable Audrey Meliaccio. Again, boys and girls, remember, do not be Aaron Rodgers, especially on third down this year. Stay loose. <laughs> Stay loose. Oh,